Nice. So as uh, Shauna just introduced me and I appreciate your introduction, uh, my name is Miguel. I'm uh, 27 years old and uh, I reside in Dubai. I was born in Namibia and Africa. I lived there for five years. My parents had like a hotel over there. My mom is German, my dad is Portuguese and uh, there was a war going on. That's why the business closed over there. My mom went back to Germany because uh, apparently she didn't want to stay you know, with two kids. I had a sister, a smaller sister that was just born around that time and she didn't want to stay in Africa alone. So I went back to Germany where I had a beautiful education, went to normal school. I was always like, um, not the best in school, let's say it like that. I did school backwards, so I had to go through all the different levels. In Germany, we have the level for idiots and then the smarter ones and then the very smart ones. So I started at the level for idiots and then went to the smarter one and then the very smart one. I was never really good in school. Um, coming from Africa and then to Germany, like I didn't really get the system and how everything works over there. So kind of took me a little bit, but I have a very nice uh, upbringing. My mom taught me everything about respect, about honor, about uh, being man. a man. I always say a woman made me a man. My father was out there working, didn't have so much connection to him. And um, why am I teaching you this? Why am I telling you this? Because obviously I want to introduce myself a little bit, not just talk about who I am and give you the information, but I want you guys to understand that I'm credible enough to talk about that since I've seen a lot in my life. I've traveled to many, many different parts of the world. Um, I grew up having money or basically my parents having money. I grew up um, uh, basically then later in Germany without uh, having any money. So my mom was struggling three jobs. She's like the hardest worker in the, in the world that I know. And since I grew up as a teenager uh, with my little sister and my mom, I always had the feeling of the urge to, you know, become the man of the house, like do something, like help my parents, help my mom, uh, find a solution. I was so dedicated and I was so amazed on how, why, uh, like my question was basically when I was younger, I just give you the, 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 the feeling of my mindset when I was like 13, 14. I was like seeing that at the end of the month, we always have more days left than money, right? So we always struggled through the last couple of days because in Germany, you get paid monthly, not weekly, right? So we always struggled through the rest of us about money. He was speaking about money. He was speaking about success. He was like saying, you need to stay on it and you need to find a mentor and you need to do this. I'm like 13, 40, I'm like, bro, I don't give a fuck, right? Sorry for my English, but like I didn't care at that time. But now it all makes sense, right? Before I really go into what I want to really give you today, because I want to do a very big curtain and you need to push it aside and then you really get into the real world, okay? Before I start, I just want to give you a little bit of a heads up. First of all, I'm very direct. I always say I'm young and direct. Please don't get offended, okay? Second of all, English is not my first language, but it doesn't really matter because I speak facts, no English, okay? The third one is that I will talk about things that will offend you personally, because of your beliefs, maybe because of what you saw in life and maybe you will not agree and that's completely okay. You don't have to agree with me. But I just want you to guys to listen a little bit because I always learned one thing and that is when someone is in the room that is successful in life, I shut up and listen. And I leave the room and decide if that's the information that I want to take or not. Not saying that I'm more successful than you guys, but I definitely did, did some things in life that most people want to copy, okay? And I want to give you the information, I want to pull the curtains aside and give you this information that I've learned from so many mentors, paid money for, people that are very, very big. I don't know, Iman Gatsi, if you guys know him, for example, someone that I personally learned from, someone that I call my mentor, many, many other very successful people, uh, SK, Stefan Kassing, which is one of the well-known trader and uh, financial uh, persons or personalities in a German speaking market that founded his own system. That is my trading mentor and so on and so on and so on. I had many, many introductions and many information that I want to share you with you today. And I said, I want to do a little bit of an experiment. Okay. The experiment is that when I went to school and again, I told you, I went first to the dummy school and then the intermediate, uh, intermediate school and then like the, the school for, to qualify high school for, to go to, uh, to university. And my goal with 12, 13 was always to go study law. Why law? Because I need to know the rules to break them, right? That's what Einstein said. I'm like, Hey, that's smart. Right. At the same time, my mom and my sister and me, we were always thrown around in life, right? No one, no one taught us how anything works. My parents didn't know anything about finance. Uh, when there was problems, when we were facing problems financially or even in terms of um, the law or some other stuff, right? We didn't know how to defend ourselves, right? My mom was the perfect worker. She knows how to work hard and that's what she did. And kind of funny, in school, they always said, get good grades. Okay, they always said, get good grades, go find a job work hard in the job, be loyal, right? Be there on time, do what your boss says, says and you're gonna have a good life. Funny thing is, my mom had three of these jobs and didn't have a good life. My dad had two of these jo jobs and didn't have a good life. So I'm not here today to hate on jobs and I'm not here to offend you, you having a job. 
but understand where job comes from. J-O-B, just over broke. And that's how most people live. Most people live just over broke. My parents live just over broke. Why just over broke? Because if the state, the government wants to control you, which they want, every state and every government needs to control people because if not, we have tyranny and chaos, which is a good thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, right? And I'm not going against the system. I'm teaching you to understand the system and dribble the system, be better in the system, know how to break the rules to then live a better financial life, live a better free life, live a self-sustaining life, live a life where you decide and you're not controlled by the media, government, whatsoever. Because the experiment they want to do goes back to the conditioning of where you guys get your information from. Our motto, our sentence in the TPR in our community is information changes situation. Think about it. If you dummy down a human's task in this world, what is it? Sorry? To live, what else? To breathe, what else? Work, what else? Decisions, deciding, right? Like breathe, most of us cannot control breathing or not breathing. Some of some people can do it, but it's gonna happen anyways. Even if I try as hard as possible, I better don't try it, right? But it's gonna come, but it's true. Like very like dumbed down, like these are all the normal, let's say, um, like how do you say, like the normal human things and, and behaviors. But if you think about what we need to do in this environment, in school, in life and whatever we do, right? It is taking decisions, okay? I'll give you an example. You go to kindergarten, then you go to school, later you decide, do you take this job, do you study, do you go here, do you go there, do you go abroad, do you stay, right? If you wanna buy something, let's say you walk around and you see something in a window, right? Window shopping, like 50 cents says, okay? What happens, you see that and you maybe think about it, check the price and then you're like, oh, it's too expensive, I cannot afford it, you walk away. Whether other people see the price, they're like, okay, what do I need to do? Where do I need to invest? What kind of business do I need to start so I can afford it? The same situation, but two different outcomes. So decisions, what defines us is decisions, okay? Everyone in here looks very healthy to me. Means we all have two arms, one nose, two eyes, and so, so physically we are kind of the same. We look a little bit different, but we are kind of the same. But what makes us different is what is in here, is the information that we have, so what we decide on. So if this is my, so this is my basic assumption. Again, I'm trying to teach you how I perceive the world and how I got into this and understanding a lot in the world, right? And that I think is very important because once you live a free life and you can decide where you want to go, you are financially, geographically and time free, then you're really free. And I guess one thing that everyone wants in this world is being free, right? It's not being a slave, not being a slave to a system or to hours or working. We want to experience world on our terms. We want to decide what we're going to do. We don't want to go reading the menu from the right side to the left side. We want to read it from the left side to the right side. Right? Most people go restaurants, first check the prices, and then what it is. And mostly it's chicken, okay? Good thing is that I love chicken, so when I was broke, it was my favorite menu, right? But that's how most people live their life. It's not like you just go somewhere and you buy the stuff that you want, you check the price first. And if you want an opposite life of that, then you need opposite information. Why? Because information changes situation. If you think about everyone in this world, they all take the similar average decisions. But where does it come from? Where does the information come from? Really think about it, like you were born, and then where is your mind conditioned? Who conditions your mind? Who gives you information? What is your perception? School, one of the biggest ones is schools. And we're gonna talk about schools a lot in a couple of minutes. Who else conditions us and defines our thoughts? So parents, yeah, sorry? Family, yeah, family obviously. Media, environment? Your, your surrounding friends, what else? Community? Social media, so news, news outlets in general, right? Media. Sorry, it's like two of you. Government and you. Okay, so the government, for example, okay? So these are all the entities or basically the ways on how we get conditioned, okay? I'll give you an example on me. Let's take my parents. I just talked about my parents. Like me talking so much about my parents doesn't mean I'm disrespecting them. Just giving you my honest like past, right? But I love my parents. But I knew that my parents cannot teach me about money because they struggle for money all the time. The biggest mistake that the normal people do, the ordinary people do, is listening to people that have the same struggles they have, right? They have a business idea, who do they talk to? To their friends, they don't have a business. What they're gonna say? Don't join the business, don't do the business, it's too risky. Instead of listening to someone who's successful, if I wanna learn playing football, or soccer, however you guys call it here, right? I'm gonna talk to Cristiano Ronaldo Messi, not my mom. My mom has no idea about football, right? 
that's like, everyone's smiling now, I see you guys, right? But like, you still do it every day, right? You would go to your friends, obviously, and ask them for opinion, but still they have no idea, right? So, very important to understand is that most of our information comes from our parents, okay? There's a very funny thing in everyone's family that you guys do nowadays, even though it makes no sense that you're doing it, but you're just doing it the way you were taught to do it, right? So there's this very funny story where there's a family and this family always cooks a steak in a, diff like in, a, in a very different way to everyone else, right? They would cut off the ends of the steak, even though the steak fits perfectly into the pan. But why did they cut off the, the steak sides, like the, the, the edges? Because back then they had the two, like the pan was too small, right? Because they were pretty poor. They only had a very small pan to cook meat or to fry meat or whatever you want to call it. So they had, to, they had to cut off the pans. So they gave it into the next generation. So everyone in this generation started to cut off the edges of a steak, even though they had a pan big enough. So that's where the conditioning comes from, just to give you like a stupid example of how real life examples really condition and affect us. Okay, so family is one of them. Let's think about money and freedom and all these important things in life. So my parents conditioned me that you need to work very hard for money. My parents conditioned me that money is the root of all evil, right? That's how my parents thought about money. My parents always said, if you are rich, then you might be an asshole. Most likely you're an asshole, okay? So let's think about that. And I want you guys to reflect your upbringing, your family, what kind of information, indoctrination, what kind of information you got from them, okay? On terms of money and life in general. So we talked about family, let's talk about media. What is media? Media is like a series that we watch, the Netflixes, the news, all this kind of stuff, okay? That's the first thing that when a country is invaded, right, another country is invaded, attacked by enemies, the first thing the enemies want to control in the new gained world, in new gained country is what? Always the media, why? Because it reaches everyone. Once they control the media, they control the population, right? So think about media. What does media teach us about money? Let's stay on money. Let's think about what you guys watched as kids. Let's think about the Hollywood movies, about all the big blockbusters, the cinema movies, everything. There's always one person that is rich and dot, 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 what else? Give me characteristics of the movies, the series, the things that you watch as kids and what characteristics the rich people have. They always tend, mostly tend to be a villain, yep. Greedy, what else? They have no one, they, it seems like they're always alone, right? You said what? Grumpy? Yeah. Okay, rich males have side chicks. Okay, I don't know if that's bad, but that's another thing. We're not gonna talk about this today. I'm not a date doctor yet. What, but it's good, what else? Like, give me like names of movies or series that you know where the, the rich person is depicted as someone that is a villain, bad, grampy, uh, uh, unhappy. Simpsons, who, who in the Simpsons? Mr. Burns, Batman, Batman, yeah. There's this one, there's this, Mr. Krabs, there's one scene in Batman where it's like, what is your superpower again? I'm rich, I love that. What else? Fast and the Furious, what else? Give me movies, give me series, think about your past, what you guys watch. Oh, what is it called? I have no idea what that is. Sorry? Hunger Games? Okay, it's like the rich are so creepy, they like uh, implement these games where like, yeah. SpongeBob, who in SpongeBob? Crabs, you said that, but perfect, yeah. Wolf of Wall Street? Okay, I kind of watched the movie and I wanted the same life, that's why I'm here today in this business. I think I had a good effect, but yeah, uh, you guys know what I mean. Yeah, what else? Who else? Well, what is that? Folk? Oh, yeah, 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 I love that movie. Sick, yeah. Uh, but these are movies where it's like kind of less I want to be like that, you know? Like, I mean, like, really the stuff where they keep you, like, dumb and they educate you. But you guys know what I mean. The Simpsons, Spongebob thing, Donald Duck. Do you guys know Donald Duck? Like, the, grand, the grandpa duck with, like, swims in the safe full of money and it has his nephews and he's always grumpy and annoying and fucked up and no one likes him. So, imagine you are... Imagine you are four, five, six, seven, eight, nine years old. I used to spend my time as a teenager in front of a series called Togolino in Germany, which like displays all of these things. Best one was Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh is the best one. But like all the other stuff where they teach kids very young in age, where they're very easily conditioned, where they build up their reality on the information that they get. Okay, the first seven years are the most conditionable years in a human being that's where most of that's why kids learn uh, language is so easy right if i want i want to learn arabic right now because i moved to dubai i i wish i wish i would have learned arabic when i was young because like, you just take the information differently once you are conditioned it's very difficult right once a glass is full it's difficult to pour, pour more water and it's just gonna swap over right and that's the same thing here 
So we talked about family, we talked about media. Let's talk about school and stay for school. Uh, 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 about, let's, let's talk about school a little bit, okay? So let's think about school. What do they not teach us, which we need desperately? Financial skills? There's more than one answer. Yeah, they always want one answer and that's it. There's not, yeah? How to deal with life problems? Taxes. How to start a business? What else? What they don't teach us? Crypto, yeah? Basic human skills such as? Perfect, I love that bro. Communication. No one knows how to speak anymore today. Hey bro, how's the weather? How's the weather? Good, fine, thank you, bye. Yep. Yeah, perfect. Nutrition, health, just like, like how do you, how do you feed yourself? Like, and what you should feed yourself, yeah? Yeah, okay, they cannot focus on you, it's like too many people anyways. And either you think in the box or you're outside of the box and they don't care about you. Who was annoying in school? I was annoying as fuck. I guess you guys guessed that already. Okay, every time a teacher says something, why, 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 okay? I give you an example where I, I, I finally finished with school, right? Like in, in my mind, like I didn't finish with school yet, but I finished in my mind with school. Is um, I was in a business school, English business school, okay? Um, and we had the topic stocks, okay? And I was 18, so I already could start to buy stocks. And I was so interested in buying stocks, why? Because I watched The Wolf of Wall Street, okay? So I really wanted to buy stocks. And we had like three weeks talking about stocks, learning all of this bullshit that today I didn't, don't even know and need to buy stocks and I make a lot of money with stocks actually, but never used one term that they taught me, not one, okay? So we are approaching the, the, finals, uh, the final test for like the stock topic and we do the test, good mark, and then she's like, okay, today we finish with the topic of stocks and we're gonna move over to another stupid boring topic. That's not what she said, but that's actually what she wanna say. And then I'm like, but, where do we learn about how to buy stocks? And she's like, oh, that's for rich people. Wow. I'm like, wow. Imagine. Now, is it, is it her fault? Is it the fault of the teacher? No. Whose fault is it? The system. Because the system creates, or the government, creates the same people that teach the same thing. They don't even request and know what they're teaching, but they're just teaching. And the other thing that everyone knows, you have read it 100,000 times on Instagram, professors that teach about business that never had a business. Okay, we live in a world where I am, for example, going to the bank, which I would never do, I hate the bank, but let's say I go to the bank and I want to invest money with them. There's going to be one person, he's like an investment advisor, right, that's how you call them, okay, or a banker, and he's going to tell me where to invest my money, even though I make more money than him. Why is he telling me where to put my money if I make more money than him? He should qualify in front of me, not I am qualifying in front of him. You know how twisted the world is? It's insane. It's a makeup. It's in insane. It's insane how twisted the world is and we just believe it. Why? Because that's how we were conditioned. So let's stay with school. What is the original idea of school? So we, taught, we, we just learned about what they don't teach, which we desperately need. Most people are depressed nowadays. Most people don't know how to communicate nowadays. Most people don't know how to live a functioning normal life. Most people are sad. Every time I talk to someone, they always had a past where they were depressed or whatsoever. So they don't teach us anything that is important on really operating on this planet Earth and being more or less successful person. It's just dragging ourselves to the next week, to the next month, to the next year, just like doing one thing which you always cope and say, that's how we cope with it. It's like everyone does it anyways, right? Sometimes you wake up, we have to go to a job, whatever. I also had a job like, shit, why am I doing this shit actually? And I was like, oh, everyone does. Oh, I need to make money. Fuck, I need to make money, right? Give you another example. My mom was a, was a, um, uh, had a lot of struggle with that. My dad too, alcohol abuse, right? Especially in the Western world. Most people struggle with alcohol abuse where they are functioning alcohol. It's just like punishing themselves so much with alcohol, not punishing, but like trying to cope with everything that's happening in their life, right? Using all of these drugs, right? Uh, to just like continue to do it. And I saw my mom going down a path where this shit became very, very difficult, right? For her, where I'm like, shit, I need to find a solution now. And do you know what changed everything for my mom? An extra $500. An extra $500 took all of her stress off her mind and she could fall asleep normal, like a normal person at night, not thinking about how she's gonna pay the next bills. And that's already like something that if you take that off someone, they already have a way more stable psyche in life. So there are small things you can twist and do just to change life, okay? Now school, where does school really come from? Who decided for us to go to school? Why is it obligatory? Why do we need to go to school? 
get qualifications, get a job. But, but who found it? Who came up with the idea? Let's open these schools. Okay. Why? Okay, so if we... Okay, perfect. So I'll give you a quick, just like very quick overview, okay? So, and again, I'm very new to the information too. I always knew it exists, but I have never like identified people and how it came across, right? I always knew it was bullshit. Sometimes we intrinsically just know that the world is different than what they teach us. But you need to understand back then Germany was Prussia. Prussia was an empire, a very strong empire. And they were invaded by France, which is Napoleon. Everyone knows who Napoleon is, the small guy that invaded and killed everyone. Okay, so he overtook Germany or basically Prussia, right? The Prussians asked themselves the question, how can Napoleon with a way smaller army overtake us? And they found out one thing. They found out that the French soldiers didn't think for themselves. They just obeyed the order of their generals and that's why they succeeded. While the Germans, the Prussians, had their own mind and their own tactics and everyone was not as conditioned as the French soldiers. So they kind of messed up on the battlefield. So the conclusion of this was, if we want to sustain our empire, we need soldiers that don't think for themselves, don't have their own will and just listen to what we say. So actually it's a good intention, but how it turned out 200, 300 years later is what happens today, is that the government has, has a system that is obligatory for all of you guys, where the main goal is to rob you of one thing, and that's free will. They don't want you to ask questions. They don't want you to be critical. They don't want you to ask anything. They just want you to follow all of it and never guess or, or second guess or think about it. Why? Because then later the school system was revo revolutionized because the biggest industrial leaders such as Henry Ford, right? Dale Car not Dale Carnegie, but what is his name? Rockefellers, another Carnegie guy, which was a steel industry, whatever. They wanted, they, sorry? Rothschilds, for example, too, right? There's like five big, very big families, Medici's back then after the, uh, the Renaissance, which again, these families just like in general are not bad families, not only, right? There's always like a good part and a bad part. But the thing is for you guys to understand how you can escape that and make the best out of it. So these families came up with the systems to rob you of your own will. So you just blindly follow the system because what they needed in the industrialization is workers, skilled workers. People just shut up, listen when they ring bells, are on time, do what they need to do, are paid just enough so they don't start a revolution, right? Not, not too little so they don't go on the street, streets, but not too much so that they can not break free. And why am I teaching you this is because we today came here to learn about the business of the future. But before you learn about the future, you need to understand the past. Because what we try to do, and me as a community leader since seven years, is I'm traveling all over the world saying the same things. Nowadays, it became kind of in, right? Andrew Tate, some people know him, most people know him. Like, it became kind of red pill, all this. It became kind of in to talk about these things and say, hey, there's a system, hey, they want to enslave us, hey, but I started to do this when no one cared about the shit, right? I started to talk about this seven years ago, especially when it comes to trading, investing, building your own business, and everyone is completely against it. But what I'm seeing is that more and more people are open about it, and more people already know what I'm saying. But do you, do you know what is very sad for me to see? They still don't change anything. Why? Because they don't know how. Because again, no one teaches them, right? Most people are just completely lost. We are a generation of lostness, complete lostness. We don't know what we want. We don't know how to communicate. We don't know where we want to go. We don't, want, we don't know what we want. We don't know what we don't want. We don't know anything. We're just kind of trying to fit in all of this, right? They close the borders. They tell us to put uh, masks on. They tell us to shut up, get vaccinated. What, like, they are controlling us on a such high level where it's perverse at the end of the day that this is happening. And what I'm very sad about is that people don't recognize that, that people don't do something against it, that people don't stand up. But how can you stand up if you don't have the resources, right? I was so pissed at the German government and how they handled COVID that I just left. I'm like, shit, fuck this, I'm out. Why? Because I have the financial freedom, I have the geographical freedom, I have the time freedom. So freedom is one of the most important attributes in the future because they're gonna control us even more and more and more and more. And how you gonna do this is by finding an opportunity that teaches you on how, again, to become geographically free. You decide where you are on this planet. Time free. You decide when and financial free. Financially free. We all think that superstars, rappers, musicians, sport, like sports people, right? They are the people that we want to become. They're so rich, right? Rihanna's, what are they called? Whatever. Travis Scott. Whoever you guys listen to, I don't know. I don't even know any Australian rap or anything but we look at these people we're like we want to become them right we want to make the money we're going to be famous and stuff but ask yourself the question are they really free 
And that's another thing that is getting more and more exposed is like how they sell their souls, how they are tied to contracts, how they are censored, how they cannot say what, I'll give you an example, there's a German football player and you might know about the Israel-Palestine uh, uh, problem in, let's say, our sphere where I come from, you guys are a little bit far from everything, which doesn't mean you don't know about it, but for me it's like more, I live in the Middle East, it's a crazy thing, everyone talks about it. And there's a German football player in uh, Germany, obviously Western, backs up Israel, blah, blah, blah. And there's one German football player and he spoke out about supporting Palestine. Why? Because he comes from, like his family's from Palestine. Like imagine not supporting your family. Imagine not saying something. And he said something, you know what happened? No football career anymore, you're out. They kicked him out, two, week, two weeks later he's out. No career, no money, try to get into a football league again in Germany or in Europe, you're done. It's done just because he supported his beliefs and said something to support and back up his own family. Wow, that's how easy, like you work for it and in a couple of minutes you are gone and you are stripped of your whole life, financial freedom and whatsoever. So everything, okay, that's my job. Just like so you guys open your minds a little bit and think about these things because there is a solution to that. And you can decide afterwards what you want to do with your life. That's okay, but you cannot unhear, not unsee the information we gave you today. Today you get exposed to all of this. Now you need to decide what you're going to do with it. You can never say again, no one taught me. Now you know it. And if you want to go deeper into it, do it, but do it being careful. Because I see many people getting too much into these theories, into these conspiracy theories, and losing the complete reality and sense. Which is not the goal. The goal is not that we are not functioning humans anymore. The goal is not to go against the system. The goal of this community is to educate you, inspire you, impact you, so you have the skills, you have the knowledge to live in this world and have the best and free lifestyle that you can even imagine. Okay? That's it. Appreciate you guys. I'm going to give it over back to the host and you're going to get the information out.